luck is gone from my way Wherever I go, hard luck is there to stay Good luck never stays a day A bad luck's always a calm in my way It is a very windy and very sunny day here in Boulder City, Nevada. Today we are at Tom Devlin's Monster Museum just outside of Las Vegas. A couple of months ago, Jessica and I rolled through Boulder City, Nevada on our move out to California and we stopped here at the Tom Devlin's Monster Museum and we absolutely had a blast. If I turn this way, you're going to see an old hearse right here. Oh, it is a sunny, it is a very, very windy day. In fact, we're not that far from Las Vegas. Las Vegas is somewhere down that road. We're here today with our friend, John Massari, the guy who wrote the music to Killer Clowns from Outer Space. We are holding in the official, the, our very first time doing something like this, the meet and greet and the signing here at Tom Devlin's. And if you are watching, or paying attention to any of our social media and you live anywhere here in the Las Vegas area, we invited you out here to come and hang out with us. This is going to be fun. All right, baby girl, what are you thinking so far? Our very, very, very first official signing slash meet and greet. Yes, we got a banner too. <laughs> it is beautiful. You are beautiful. I'm having a lot of fun. Hi, this is Sweet Carnage right here with the Grim Life Collective here at their official meet and greet. Happy Halloween. Hi, it's Justin and Melissa, and we're here visiting the Grim Life Collective, and we're about ready to go take a tour. Happy Halloween! Happy Halloween! Hey, this is Pedro. Jen, we're hanging out with the Grim Life Collective. Happy Halloween! Happy Halloween! Hi, this is Stephanie. I'm hanging out with the Grim Life Collective here in Tom Devlin. Happy Halloween! Oh, happy, happy Halloween! Halloween. <laughs> I am Envy One Bumper, and uh, happy Halloween from the Grim Life Collective. Hey everybody, we're right here with Grim Life Collective. Happy Halloween, everybody! Just so you guys know, I'm the one that packed all the boxes, and I did a horrible job. <laughs> Next time we do something like this, we're gonna have everything better organized. Right now, it's like it's like playing Go Fish, but with horror T-shirts. Sitting here at our booth, you know that we collect masks, and Jessica's been eyeing this one up. That one right there in the center of your screen, the pumpkin head mask. He's so handsome. We might need to get him. Good afternoon. You may or may not know me, but my name is John Masari. Good evening. Or I should say good afternoon. I'm here in Boulder City, Nevada at Tom Devlin's Monster Museum. And I'm about to hear and see and witness something with the able and excellent Jessica of the Crim Life Collective. And what we're going to see is a killer clown exhibit in this very excellent place. Please join me. I feel like this is probably one of your favorite movies. Yeah, this is. Certainly Planet of the favorite. Apes? Yeah, I saw it in a drive-in when it first came out and I did not know what the ending was. I was completely blown away. No one spoiled it for me. And then I got the, I rented the DVD for my kids to see and they blow the, and the DVD they have the artwork of the ending of the movie. It's like, what's the purpose? John, a couple months ago, Jessica and I came here to Tom Devlin's Monster Museum and we saw this and we instantly 
thought of you and we had to get you here. Mm. This is beautiful. I'm so glad you finally were able to make it here. What do you think of this display? I mean, killer clowns, you know what I'm talking about. It's just plain weird, man. <laughs> just plain weird. Look at them. They're just, they're so watching bizarre. you. So bizarre. Who would, ever, who would have ever thought of it? When you were working on the film, yeah. could you have ever imagined that it would gain the cult status that it has? Well, you have to understand, uh, the show business, it works in trends, right? So at the time, I thought the trend was like Beetlejuice. You know, when uh, Tim Burton did Beetlejuice, a combination of horror, sci-fi, quirky ideas. And I thought, this is part of that trend. This has got to just take off. But I think with just like these minor errors, like the day it was released and the day it came out of theaters and moved around, by the time people had, word had got around that it was a fun movie, it was out of theaters, Yeah. right? And so, but I had faith in it because I knew that it was going to go to cable and people will uh, be discovering it. But I myself didn't really discover the uh, love of the fans until about like six years ago. Right. I was invited to the 25th anniversary and there were people that, uh, that understood and knew the, the, my music almost as much as I did. You know, they, they were really into it. So I thought, you know, I think this is something to explore, you know, to, to make the music and myself more available to uh, fans and expand upon the brand where we put on a live concert uh, to film and we also uh, did a release of the soundtrack with an orchestra and we're releasing a uh, with Waxworks the uh, vinyl and I'm doing a synthwave. Uh, synthwave is a genre of synthesizer based uh, uh, music that uh, I'm doing killer, the Killer Clown score all over again. Basically all the equipment that I have now I'm just re-recording the score, but it's gonna it has a completely different color. I sent it to one of my friends, uh, at the, uh, uh, Michael Collins of the Grim Life Collected. I sent him one of the first tracks, and he had something of a favorable uh, impression that it was a completely different color, but still the same music, still the same, but brought out in different, uh, a much more dreamier. Uh, well, anyways, I, I don't want to brag about it, but anyways, I'm very happy with the way it's turning out. And I have some uh, members of the Dickies are playing on the soundtrack, so it's, it's a lot of fun. Do you have other films, uh, do you have other films in your repertoire that have gained the traction that Killer Clowns did? I, I would think the only thing is uh, possibly uh, Retro Puppet Master. Oh, okay, yeah. Maybe. Yeah. You know, which which I happened came upon by quite a by, by accident. Do you know Richard Band? Have you worked with Richard at all? No. Okay. Richard did. Oh, you uh, mean the the composer Richard? Yeah. Band? Yeah. Yes, I know so, him well. So Charlie His brother's Band, Charles. Yeah. I don't know. Charlie yeah. is uh, obviously the creator of Full Moon and, and the Puppet Master franchise. Yeah. But Richard, we he always donates. I mean, Charlie has full use of the scores he's created for a lot of. There's Richard Band right there. Right. Right. But uh. But uh, that being said, he doesn't always have time to do all the Puppet Master movies, so it's cool to hear that you did the retro one. Oh yeah, it was um, interesting. I got a call, literally, do you want to, by the director, it was Dave Dakota. Yeah, yeah. And he said, do you want to do a Puppet Master movie? I just finished directing it. I go, sure. Hold on, let me, I'm having lunch with, um, not Charlie, uh, with uh, Charlie Band. Yeah, yeah. Charlie. Uh, I'm going to talk about you and, and we'll see. And so he called me later that day. Okay, you can start it now. We'll, Go get a It's very video. difficult to break into the circle. Like, the fact that Dave walked you in helps. It's so hard because Full Moon is such a family. Charlie doesn't go outside of his normal people usually. Right. So that's very cool. Yeah.